This presentation provides an introduction to climate change and the effect on birds and their ranges. Then we'll take a look at range changes for a couple of bird species well known in Florida, and finally some ideas on what we can do to conserve bird habitat as conditions change, and we'll suggest some actions we can take. We love the birds that share our backyard and our lives. However, things are changing. Birds are arriving earlier and they overwinter in places they once left when cold winds blew. The world scientists agree that the planet is heating up. The main culprits are excess carbon dioxide, also known as CO2, and methane. We see the effects all around us and being reported on the news. Droughts, melting glaciers, ocean acidification, and rising sea level. We all feel the changes. Record-breaking high temperatures, longer and more intense heat waves, extreme and more frequent wildfires thanks to drought, and insect infestation that kills trees. Annually, we are already 1.6 degrees hotter on average than we were 150 years ago. These trends were detailed in Audubon's 2009 report, Birds and Climate Change, Ecological Disruption in Motion. As winters warm, birds are wintering farther north and moving inland. The purple finch has shown the biggest shift, moving north 433 miles. While milder winter temperatures may be the new normal, so too are dramatic cold snaps like those produced by the polar vortex in 2015. Birds exposed to rapid extreme temperature changes may be ill-equipped to survive. Audubon scientists have recently completed computer models of how bird distributions may shift as the climate changes. Audubon scientists wanted to look explicitly at how this warming world would affect the birds we love. We have great data from both the North American Breeding Bird Surveys and our own Christmas Bird Counts, the longest running citizen science data collection effort in the world. Together, these data sets inform us about what birds to expect in a given climate. Audubon modeling related 40 years of bird observations to 17 climate variables to develop their future predictions. Audubon mapped 588 species in North America against climate models that predict how much the climate could change in the future. The modeling predicted that 314 species, nearly half of all birds regularly found in North America, are seriously threatened by global warming and, without action, could face extinction. The bald eagle, national symbol of the United States, is projected to have only 26% of its current summer range remaining by 2080. It may find new areas opening up by a shifting climate, but it is uncertain whether it will find suitable nesting habitat or prey. If the climate changes too much, birds will be forced away from the places in which they now live. Through changing weather patterns and resource availability, the characteristics of established habitats from plant communities to insect biodiversity will be different. If those shifts are too extreme, bird populations will suffer. Birds may not find the right foods when they need them, or they might not find the right places to live. They may not have time to adapt. Anything we can do to slow the advance of global warming buys them more time. We have selected two species as examples, presently common in Florida habitats, but whose future could be in serious jeopardy from climate change and sea level rise. You can visit www.audubon.org forward slash climate for the full list and maps of Florida's birds showing their potential range changes. As an example, Audubon's climate model predicts that by 2080, the burrowing owl could lose 77% of its current U.S. breeding range. Development of all kinds has disrupted its habitat in Florida. Our second example is the roseate spoonbill. These attractive, bizarre-looking birds are currently widespread and numerous from Florida to Argentina. In Florida, these birds have been moving from historical Everglades breeding grounds as rising sea level floods their feeding sites to central Florida as they search for more suitable habitat. Pelican Island Audubon Spoonbill Watch is a new monitoring program to track the movement of these birds northward. What can we do to help as individuals, as communities, as voters, and as advocates? Make your backyard and your neighborhood bird-friendly. Go native with plants. Save water and time and create a haven for birds and the plants and insects many of them rely on. Beyond our own backyards, we can protect the places birds need today by helping to conserve and restore habitat for important bird areas. 
We can put birds on our community's agenda by starting conversations with our neighbors, our colleagues, and our local leaders about why it's important to protect our community's birds. We can reach more people by writing a letter to the editor of your local newspaper, speaking at a community event, and asking to speak to students at your local schools. There are ways to reduce your carbon footprint, and most of them will save you money. You can plug leaks in your home insulation, install a smart thermostat, switch to more efficient light bulbs, turn off the lights in any room where you are not using them, drive fewer miles by consolidating trips, by carpooling, riding a bike or taking public transit, waste less food, and eat less meat. Perhaps the biggest single thing you can do is to take fewer airplane trips. Just one or two fewer plane rides per year can save as much in emissions as all the other actions combined. If you want to be on the cutting edge, you can look at buying an electric or a hybrid car, putting solar panels on your roof, or both. We must urge leaders at the local, state, and national levels to enact policies that lower greenhouse gas emissions and limit the effects of global warming on birds. Ultimately, we need leadership from federal, state, and local policymakers. We must demand action and ask, how do you plan to address global warming? Together, we can make a difference. We can slow the progress of global warming, and we can plan for the future. For more information, visit Audubon's climate website. Visit www.audubon.org forward slash climate. The time for change is now. The climate science is clear. Our birds are providing the warning. Please heed our message and act now.